Hi Sunshines and welcome to my channel. Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new, my name is Christy and welcome. Today I'm going to be unboxing my Wantable. I did um, just take the top, the tape off the top, but I haven't opened it. Secretly though, y'all probably are thinking the same thing I am. I hope this box isn't the best because I just came off three really good subscription boxes and kept, I think I kept 12 pieces, which is a a lot and with back to school and everything going on uh, my budget is really really tight right now which is okay that's not a problem okay. we're gonna talk about wantable but before that I did check my PO box and I got happy mail from one of you sweet subscribers so I thought that I would open it really quickly so it came from Teresa who I love she's a, a dedicated subscriber and commenter so thank you open it okay there's a card she has gorgeous handwriting I do not have gorgeous handwriting. I wish I, I wish I did. All the women in my family have amazing handwriting. And I don't have bad handwriting. It's just not beautiful. Oh, it looks like you made this card. It's so pretty. It says each day is a special gift to enjoy. It looks like it's handmade. That's so special. I'm keeping it. Y'all, I keep everything that you guys send. So um, it says thankful for your channel. And then she sent a little note. It says, you said you like scrub. I just brought a scrubber for my face and I didn't use it. I hope you like it. I was at Bath and Body Works yesterday and the peaches made me think of you. Oh gosh, I'm dying. Oh, it's peach and sweet tea. Georgia Sunshine needed that. And actually I just opened my last body scrub, which this is perfect. And it was a pumpkin scrub. So I'm gonna actually put that one back in my cabinet. Thank you, Teresa, that's so sweet. That's so nice of you. Looks like there's a few more things. Oh, she put chocolate in here. The way to my heart. Wow, there's like several things in here. She put a chocolate at, oh, no way. I love Ola Hendrickson, thank you. This is the walnut scrub. It's my favorite. And then delicate words, beautifully detailed hangers with sentimental and inspirational words. Oh. This friend thank you that is so nice thank you Teresa I'm so touched by that I hope you don't mind that I open it on camera that was really really kind of you that was sweet thank you thank you thank you okay let's move on to the box at hand I do have to say gosh I'm so touched by that thank you I do have to say y'all if you're not subscribed for the month of August you need to subscribe you need to hit the notification bell I am more excited for my channel in August than any other time. I have a few videos I'm going to try. What I say, throw up on the wall and see if it sticks. A company actually contacted me and said, we want to help you get to 4,000 subscribers. I just hit 3,000 and we're wanting to do a big giveaway for your subscribers and it's huge. Like I want to cry even thinking about it. You'll hear more about that later. And um, I don't know, I, I subscribe to two new boxes that you guys have been asking for over a year. And then I just watched a, an unboxing today by, and well, I'm not going to tell you who, by, because uh, I don't want you to figure out the box, by someone that I love to watch. And <laughs> this box is Christy in a box. If you could put me in a box, or if I could curate a box, the box that I saw today would be totally me. So I subscribed to that one too. So anyway, all I'm saying is, I'm excited for August. It's also the month you may see Hot Mess Mom come out. I lovingly call myself that when I get stressed out. I feel like um, my kids are changing schools, so we're still trying to figure out all the ins and outs of that. My son's starting a new hockey team, so trying to figure out him trying to figure out the team dynamic, me trying to figure out the parent dynamic. Um, we start our, my daughter and I help coach a special needs cheer team, so that starts. And just, you guys know, you guys know how it is. And Emma's gonna start a self-defense class, which I think every woman should have to take. So that should be interesting too. So there may be some story times coming in August also. All right, I'm gonna get back to the to the video at hand because you probably are like, just open the box. So wantable. I do not know what to think. I mean, I want it to be a good box, but I'm scared. So here's what it looks like. I do feel like I've had some really great Wantables lately. So it says, get excited, exchanges are here, so you can exchange through Wantable now. I have my bag to send everything back. Wantable is a $20 um, 
styling fee. You can get this box as often or as little as you want. I get it once a month and it is a $20 styling fee, but they take the items. If you buy anything, you get the $20 credited back and you get seven items in your box. Okay. So this is an expensive box before the discount. It's $417. All right, so we will see. The first thing in here is by Splendid, and it is just a plain white ribbed, super soft, but really see-through. You can see the tag through it, tank top. Now you probably, it probably looks more see-through because I've got lighting on either side of me, so that's probably showing through a little more. It's really, really soft. And actually, I have this style of tank top on I get these from Eddie Bauer. They're not ribbed though, and I really like them. And I just bought um, a couple of these when they were having, they were having over the 4th of July, 50 and 60% off the whole store. And so I think I got these for 60% off. So this is not something I would keep, but I'll definitely try it on to show you. And this is $42 for this ribbed tank. Okay. The next thing, <laughs> I'm just gonna move on, is by Vigos. This is a bomber jacket in dark olive. Now I did have to say, I'm long waisted. I do own sort of a bomber jacket, but I don't love them because they're short. They're just too short for me. And um, so I don't know that I will be buying any more of these. And I'm, I probably need to take them off all of my subscription box. I need to put that in my profile. Cause I just, this is one is really pretty. And I do have a green olive green jacket from Natalie Attired. Um, this one doesn't actually look like it's super short though. So this one might be better. Okay, and like I said, that one is, oh, I didn't say it, it was $78, all right? The next thing, ooh, I like this. I don't know how this is gonna look on me, but I like it. It's by Z Supply, love Z Supply. It is the ultimate crew tee in camo white and it's $32. Now, if you've never been to my channel or never heard, I love Z Supply t-shirts. They are expensive. They have a rounded bottom. They're a little bit more forgiving in the stomach area. They just fit a more womanly body. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> these aren't great colors for me, these creams and grays. But this might be really cute for fall with some gray jeans and like a cardigan. So I would definitely consider that. And if I love it, I would pay $32 for that. All right, the next thing is by Intermingle. It is a slit tank top in black for $40. This is really cute too. I have a ton of these. I get them from Trendsend. I don't think I have a black one though. And the Trendsend ones that I get are about 40. I think they're by Alice and Joy. And I love these. They're my favorite tank tops. I think they're really flattering how the neck comes up higher. They're usually good under the arms. So they're great in the summer, but I absolutely love this style paired with cardigans and things. And I like how it's a little bit longer. That's cute. So yeah, that's $40, but I definitely, I would consider paying that price for this. Obviously, we've talked about this on my channel before. I don't like to shop. I, I hate it and so I'm willing to pay a little bit extra for pieces that come straight to my door that I can match with things in my closet try on with things in my closet and just send it back very easily all right this next thing is by it's the Clarice button front shirt in olive this definitely does not look olive to me it looks more like a like a clay color like if you got a block of clay and you're doing the pottery wheel <laughs> like I took pottery in high school isn't that funny oh no me no likey, the, I don't like this. <laughs> me no likey the frayed hem on that. Okay, yeah, I don't love this. I might like it on. I do like a collared shirt. I have a long neck um, and I do love a collared shirt, but I'm not sure I love the color and I'm not sure that I love that fray. And again, that was $48. All right, the next thing is a pair. There's two pair here, let's see. This is the super skinny, which probably is not going to work ankle in Holston wash by Meritage. Now I have a pair of Meritage jeans that I really like. These are $88. These are really cute. <laughs> I really like the sort of wash on here. And I like that they're distressed. Well, you know, they do have, they are 
holy all the way through. I thought they were more just distressed. And then there's what the bottom looks like. I'm trying to show you this other. You probably hear my child in the next room. He is playing Xbox. They start school on Wednesday, so we pretty much said, whatever you want to do today, do it. And he, of course, chose like eight hours of Xbox. Don't judge. All right, so those are cute. And then last but not least, we got the Connie Ankle Skinny with black back zipper detail by Mar Detail Marjoric. I cut from the cloth. Okay, the back, the little ankle zip reminds me so much of the 80s. So funny. And I do have a pair of cut from the cloth Connie's that I really like a lot. This is a good fit for me. So if you're a little bit hippie, which I am, these really worked nice for me. And I need to look at my closet and see because I really like dark denim for when you want to dress something up a little bit. And I need to see if I still have dark denim or if it's just faded to the point where I need to replenish. You know, because this wash is really nice sometimes, but sometimes you just want like to go to church at night or to go on date night with your husband or girls night and you just want to wear like a little heel or something. Sometimes it's nice just to have that nicer jean. Okay. And those were $89. So that is my box. I have hope for a few things, but I'm not super in love with anything. So we'll see. Stay tuned, okay? Okay, so I have this little top on, which I like a lot better than I thought I would. I still don't like the fringe at the bottom, and it's really long on my arms. I don't know if you can see. My fingers are sort of sticking out. I like the fit back in the spring when I was asking for like a white oversized sort of really soft button down. This is exactly what I wanted, but I'm not loving this color enough or the fringe to keep it. So I think this is going to be a no, but y'all I love, I'm telling you the Connie's are great. If you have like, I have hips right here, just where I carry my weight. This is a really great skinny for you. I think the zipper detail on the back is really cute too. I don't know if I could wear booties because usually when you wear booties, you roll them up. I'd have to play and see. But I really like how dark this wash is because you can just make it a little more dressy. All right, on to the next one. Be right back. All right, so here's this little Z Supply camo tee. I really like how it gives me a shape. I would do a front tuck. The only thing I don't like about Z Supply, I don't really like the rounded hem. I like it in the back, just not in the front. I love this shirt. I'm a camo girl. I didn't like camo until last year, and then I went nuts with it, and I love that this is just a different sort of unexpected print. Like I said, I'm sorry if you hear my son. Um, I can brighten my makeup up a little bit, but with dark jeans, it looks really cute going into fall, and I could put a really fun cardigan with it, either a bright one or just a black or gray would look good. So I'm gonna keep this. I really like it. I would not have picked this out in the store because I would think it would just wash me out. It does a little bit, but I don't think it's bad. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, friends, before I show you this next outfit, I'm just gonna remind you. <laughs> This is a positive channel and we are kind here, no judgment, because quite frankly, my stomach looks like a can of busted biscuits in this top, but I'm gonna show you because I want you to see it and decide if it would be right for you. <laughs> I have been losing some weight, but quite honestly, like you can see, mm, it's not good, it's not good. Uh, it's a nice shirt. It fits my body well, I like the ribbing, but it doesn't like hold anything in or do anything special. So $42 for this, I don't really love the price. If it if it sort of held me in, um, maybe, and I'm all about buying quality pieces and paying more for them, but this does not feel like it's worth $42. I feel like I could get something really similar at Old Navy or Target even. Um, you know, I love some Target. So this is going to be a no. I love these jeans, but before we talk about the jeans, I'll put this jacket on. Now this jacket is made of something I've never heard of before. It says it's 100% Q-Pro, C-U-P-R-O. Have y'all heard of that fabric before? Um, it's 
interesting. It's a washable fabric. It says don't dry clean it, which is good. I like the length of the sleeves. I have arms that are a little bit longer. These are a tiny bit long on me, but I actually like that. I do, I like that. And what do you think about the length? I wasn't sure about the length, but I kind of think it's good. It's very lightweight. This is a good fall slash spring jacket. It's not heavy at all. So it would be a great just little layering piece. I really like the color, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all, can I say y'all any more times? Pee Wee's word of the day, y'all. Ah! All right, let me show you the jeans. And we'll go from there. See, not good, not good. Busted biscuits. <laughs> but love these jeans. I love, this is probably my favorite wash of all the jeans, this like white wash here. I love a little distressing. I love that they're distressed in the back a little bit too, because I hate when they're distressed in the front and then they're like plain in the back. It's like they forgot about the back. <laughs> I really do like these. They're by Meritage and I have another pair of Meritage jeans and they've held up really well. I think they're like a, I think I bought those teal jeans if you've watched my channel for a while and those are Meritage. So these are cute and I like this jacket with just a basic white piece. Like this is a cute fall outfit. Okay, I think that is all. Let's do a recap. Okay guys, I'm on the fence and I need your help with this box. I have to say that Wontable has been stepping up their game. I felt like all through the winter, I was not having any luck with Wontable at all. And then starting in spring through summer, I have been in love with pieces. And I look back and I realize that the pieces that I wear the most in my wardrobe seem to come from Wantable lately. I have a pair of Kenzie jeans I love. I have a Michael, two Michael Stars tops that are killer that I love. Um, a white a pair of white jeans that I really like. Um, anyway, I'm finding great brands there and I'm really happy with Wantable right now. If you wanna try Wantable, if you've never tried it before, I'm gonna leave my link below, so click on it. You can order yourself a box. If you do get five or more pieces, you get a 20% discount. So I think with this box, um, I did read my message from my stylist who was Josie and I did tell all my subscription boxes from last month. I said I'm really looking for pieces that transition from summer to fall and that's what she pulled for me. I loved the little jacket with the tank top and the faded jeans. I thought that was a great going into fall piece. I'm not going to keep the tank top obviously. It just didn't flatter me. The black tank top was just a little bit too short in the front and I just didn't really like this shirt was a little bit oversized with, and I didn't really like the fraying on the bottom. So those are my easy no's. Now my easy yes is, is this the supply shirt? Um, I'm at, at my heart, I'm a jeans and t-shirt or jeans and shorts type girl. I would throw this on to take the kids to school, pick them up, run to the grocery store. This is just a total me top. So I'm keeping that. I'm gonna keep these Meritage jeans. Y'all, when I was trying these on, I realized when I took them off that I didn't have the, the zipper zipped, so. Hot mess mom's coming out already. <laughs> I might have given you a show and didn't even realize it. Anyway, I'm going to keep these. I really like Meritage jeans. This will be my second pair, and I'm really impressed with how they wash and wear. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to keep those. I love them. My two unknowns are these Connie Ankle Skinnies. I love how dark these are. I do, in fact, in looking at my closet, need a pair of really dark jeans. I like the zippers on these, but they're $89. <laughs> and cut from the cloth. They are spendy, and I do wear them for seasons and seasons, so they are worth the price. I'm not saying that. However, if money's tight, I may look around and just see on the Cut From The Cloth website or maybe some department stores. If by chance these are on sale, I kind of think maybe not. These might be newer, but I'm just going to see. So I'm going to hold off on these for now. I'm not going to say yes or no. And then I did really like this little jacket. It's $72, which I don't think is bad for a little outerwear piece, because for subscription boxes, sometimes they'll go up to $140. I like how light it is. It is ironable, whatever this Cupro material is, and you can wash it, which I like, and I don't mind to iron. I don't. Th I think once you ironed it, it would be fine. Um, but I really liked it. I liked it with the white tank. So if I found a better tank with the faded jeans, I think it's cute. Is this my 
olive bomber jacket though i'm not sure tell me what you think all right so that is my box i hope you enjoyed it i will um update you on what i kept in another video so just stay tuned for that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me and i will see you soon bye bye